Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at finding unknown angles using properties of supplementary angles. So we have the problem in the figure below line segment AB intersects line segment CD at point E and we need to find the measure of each angle. So notice that the angles that we're looking at are in terms of two variables. We have a variable X and Y. So the first thing we want to focus on is we have angle CEB and angle DEB, those two angles form a straight line, so those two angles are supplementary. So what that allows us to do is, we could set up, we have X plus Y plus, and now we have the measure of angle BED is equal to X minus Y, so we're going to add X minus Y, and now we could set this quantity equal to 180 degrees because the sum of two supplementary angles will always equal 180 degrees since they form a straight line. So now notice how we have, when we combine like terms, we have a plus y and a minus y. So right away we could cross off y minus y, those two variables will cancel. So now for the next line, we have x plus x is 2x, and this is equal to 180 degrees. So now to solve for x, all we need to do is divide both sides by 2. And now 2 divided by 2 will cancel. And we have x is equal to 90 degrees. So now this doesn't tell us the value of any of these angles. Because notice, these two angles are in terms of x and y. And this single angle has the variable y. So this tells us we need to set up another equation to find the value of y. So what we could do is we notice that angle AEC and angle CEB are also supplementary angles because they form a straight line. So we could set up another equation. We have 2y plus x plus y equals 180 degrees. Because remember, once again, when we sum supplementary angles, that quantity is always equal to 180 degrees. So now for this example here, we combine like terms. We have 2y plus 1y is 3y. And now we have plus x is equal to 180 degrees. But notice how we just found that x equals 90 degrees. So we're going to make a substitution here. We have 3y plus 90 degrees equals 180 degrees. So now to solve for y, we're going to subtract 90 degrees from both sides. 90 degrees minus 90 degrees will cancel. So on the left side, we have 3y is equal to, and now 180 degrees minus 90 degrees is 90 degrees. So now to solve for y, all we need to do is divide both sides by 3. 3 divided by 3 cancels, and we have y equals 90 degrees divided by 3 is 30 degrees. But now the question was asking us to find the measure of each angle. So we're going to plug in for these values of x and y. So angle CEA, the measure of this angle, is equal to 2 times y. So we have 2 times 30 degrees. We just found y to be 30 degrees. So the measure of angle CEA is equal to 60 degrees. So now to find the measure of angle CEB, all we're going to do is replace X and Y. So we have X plus Y. But remember, x we just found to be 90 degrees. And y we just found to be 30 degrees. So now we have the measure of angle CEB is equal to 90 degrees plus 30 degrees is 120 degrees. Now at this point we could plug in for x and y to find the value of angle DEB, 
or we could just notice that angle CEA and angle DEB are vertical angles, therefore they are equal. So this allows us to say the measure of angle DEB equals 60 degrees. And by the same reasoning, we could say that angle AED, or the measure of angle AED, is equal to 120 degrees. Because angle CEB and angle AED are also vertical angles, therefore their measures are equal. Okay, well this is going to conclude this finding unknown angles problem. Thank you all for watching, and I hope that this video was helpful.